Hey everyone, it's Crystal Marie Higgins. I hope you're all hanging in there and doing well. So today I'm actually going to guide you on a short practice um, in the restorative yoga style. So I teach these classes, a full restorative class on Sunday nights at Sun Porch Yoga, but in the meantime, since that class is not happening live right now, I wanted to share with you just a sweet, short, little video that you can do at the end of the day, whenever you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed out, or whenever you just need to give your body a break here. You can even do it in the morning and in the middle of the day, really any time that works. So first, I'm going to invite you to find a comfortable seated position. I'm actually, I've sat on a little pillow that I got for my couch. So you can get whatever sort of cushion and support you can find. And Go ahead and let your shoulders relax and the hands. I've got palm face down on my legs. And if you see some little kittens coming through the yoga video, I've got two little sweeties here in the space, which I'm sure you'll see. So um, fun little treats to be had. When you're ready, just go ahead and softly close your eyes. And I want you to bring your awareness to to your alignment right now. So you want the third eye right between the eyebrows, level right on top of the center of the chest and the heart. The center of the chest and heart level right on top of your pelvis, your pelvic floor, and your seat. So just notice any way that you might be leaning. And begin to just draw your attention inward here. Start to follow just a slow and steady rhythm with your breath. Begin to breathe in and out through your nose and allow the belly and chest to just gently inflate on the inhale. And on the exhale, exhale through your mouth, through your nose, full release. And do about 10 more just like this. you're breathing out through the mouth or the nose, I do want it to be slightly audible, not forceful, but just you can hear it. Invite yourself to let go here, let go of all the things that you're holding right now, the worry, the anxiety, frustration, fear. We can actually begin to let go of these things through our breath. Begin to relax even the space back behind your eyes in the center of the head. Especially if you've been feeling sort of tension, headaches, or stress lately. I invite you to feel a softness of the face around the temples and the cheekbones and the jaw. And just continue this awareness of letting your breath breathe you. So we come to the practice of yoga and mindfulness of any kind to create that container for ourselves. And that remembrance of spaciousness and ease, even in times of challenge, in times of uncertainty. These times, more than ever, the practice can provide that refuge that we're desiring. So begin to just feel an anchor down through your sit bones, Visualizing this anchor dropping deep into the ground below you. 
wherever you are right now, just literally even visualize that anchor dropping down. Begin to relax from your belly down to your feet a little bit. Keep the posture upright, but begin to soften the muscles. When we begin to relax in the lower part of the body, the root, the foundation, the legs, it begins to soften that fight or flight response, the stress response. So in our practice, I'm gonna keep coming back to this probably for a while now, staying embodied in the lower regions is so important. So relax any tension, even a gripping. And begin to, if you haven't already, gently close the lips and start to breathe in and out through your nose. We're gonna slow down the breath and just breathe for a count of five in each direction. So just a slow count. You can do this count that I learned from a teacher of mine. Om one, Om two, Om three, Om four, Om five, and repeat all the way down. Let's do a few of those together. Find your own pace. So when we begin to slow things down and feel the expansion and release, even before the movement practice begins, it's like taking a breath of fresh air. It's that remembrance of release. Just a few more times. Staying anchored, staying rooted, staying grounded. Continue that gentle count of breath at the pace that serves you and begin to feel a lift up through the crown of your head to the sky above us. We want to imagine kind of a cord going all the way up, all the way up to the sky, right into even the center of our galaxy here. So we anchor where we are in the present moment down through the ground into this home that we're living on here, this earth. And we lift up through the crown of the head at the same time. Just a few more breaths. Let the shoulders relax. And then begin to just gently open your eyes. So we're gonna take our time and just do two restorative yoga poses today. But before we begin that, in case you haven't done a lot of movement practice, I'm going to invite you to come to all fours. I'm just going to take whatever I was sitting on and move it to the side. So we're going to begin today in cow and cat. If you notice I've got socks on, you're welcome to have socks on or not. Your choice there. So on the inhale, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Then on the exhale, draw the belly in, the back round. And do just a few more. Feels so good to kind of stretch the back here. Starting to feel a little bit more connection back in with our bodies. So remember to sink movement up to breath. Inhale, belly drops, chest open. And exhale, belly draws in and back rounds. Just do two more rounds. Close or soften your eyes. and come back to neutral. So we're gonna just do one more little thing before we come into restorative. I want you to come into a supine twist on your back. So you're just gonna recline down like I am, draw your knees in, then bring your legs to one side and arms go out to the side. Let your shoulders relax. So we'll take just five breaths. From here, you want your legs to be relaxed 
They don't have to be stacked. They can stagger a little bit. Let your eyes soften or close. Such a nice twist to open the body here. Let your jaw relax, face relaxes. And we'll slowly open the eyes, just a few breaths, come back to center. I'm just gonna scooch a little bit to the side so you can see me a little bit more. Let those legs drop, arms extend. And if the shoulders don't touch the ground, because sometimes we've got tightness or injuries, you can bring a pillow underneath the shoulder that's lifted underneath that arm. And go ahead and let your eyes close or soften your gaze and just take a few more breaths. Just let those inner thighs relax as much as possible. All 10 fingers relaxed, palms are open. Go ahead and come back to center. Now you're going to just draw your knees into your chest. Just lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Curl in. Exhale, release. Two more. Inhale, curl in. Exhale, release. One more. Curl in. And then release. Roll all the way to one side. Press on up slowly. And we're going to come into a nice chest opener here. So the way that I'm going to do this, I'm actually going to take my, my pillows from my couch and I'm going to place one down. I'm going to move this little nice bell here. So I'm going to place one down for my head on the ground. And then you can see, and I'll kind of move the camera so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to place the second one about four inches away. Now, if you do not have two pillows of the same size, just make sure you take the pillow that's bigger and bring it in the position of where your head is. The smaller pillow or blanket should go in the second position. And they're again about four inches or so apart, about the length of your pinky finger approximately at most. Then I have a blanket. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make like a little sort of roll with my blanket. You can grab any blanket for this really. You're just gonna roll it kind of like you would roll a burrito. If you're in my classes in person, you've often seen me do this. Those are the little kitties there making an appearance, Greta and Rita. So you're gonna take this roll and if you can kind of see here, you know, depending upon how tall you are, I'm placing it about a foot, a foot and a half or so away. Now, chest opener, you're gonna bring your legs, your knees supported by the blanket. You might need to adjust depending upon your body proportion. My shoulders are in this kind of open space here. Move stuff out of your way, right, if things are in your way. Let your body relax, chest opener. So your arms are just extended out. You can also do cactus arms with elbows bent. And if it's too challenging to bring your arms out straight, you can have them more downcast. I prefer sort of straight out. And we'll take several minutes here. We'll take just actually about five minutes or so in this pose. So go ahead and bring your, your head to center, get yourself situated, and let your eyes close. This pose is most certainly a chest opener. Make sure that there's no discomfort here in your low back. If there is the blanket that's under your mid upper back, it's just a little bit too high. So pause the recording if you need and get a lower blanket or pillow. Make sure your knees feel supported, your legs can relax. And in this pose, I just want you to follow your breath. Watch the breath as it goes from the belly up to the chest. And watch the breath as it moves away from the chest. 
So restorative yoga is a slow style of relaxing. Invite your body to completely relax. So you're melting, softening as much as you can into the body. Just kind of move a little bit if it helps to release. But I do invite you to come into a place of stillness. Begin to scan through the body. Notice where you're resisting the ground or the blanket. Let your wrists relax. All ten fingers. your hips go heavy. Don't try to control your experience. Allow yourself to receive by unwinding. We're all going through a massive exercise in control and learning how to do things perhaps a bit more for the collective, making decisions for the community above sometimes individual decisions, it's like staying indoors. We take care of ourselves and remember to think of others. And remember that we're in this thing called life with everyone together. And that your own personal challenges right now are likely mirrors of several people you know as well as those you don't. It's time to connect in with each other, even though we're actually not together in person, we're together digitally. ways that we've never experienced. So even here, just allow your body to completely soften, but bring, bring to mind those people that you really deeply care about in this world. I'm going to invite you to just silently repeat this mantra. It's a very kind of famous loving kindness meditation. Just bringing to mind someone that you really care about. And repeating this directed toward that person. May you know ease. joy. May you know happiness. May you be free of suffering and harm and pain. And may you know liberation and freedom itself. I'm going to invite you to bring someone into your awareness who neutral. Someone who maybe you have encountered, whether on a trip to the store, could be even a delivery person, someone in your building or a neighbor, someone you don't necessarily have feelings for either way, someone who's neutral. 
repeating this silently to yourself toward that person that you know needs, that you know joy, that you know happiness. May you be free of suffering and harm and pain. May you know liberation and freedom. And next, bringing someone into your awareness that you don't particularly enjoy, someone who you were challenged by. May you know ease. May you know joy. May you know happiness. May you be free of suffering and harm and pain. May you know liberation and freedom. Last, bringing yourself in the equation, directing this inwardly. May you know ease. May you know joy. May you know happiness. May you be free of suffering, harm, and pain. May you know liberation and freedom. Gently begin to open your eyes, hold on. With your fingers and toes, we'll draw our knees in just to transition. And we'll roll all the way to one side and press on up. So next, we're actually going to end today in a nice, oops, as I knock over my bell, a nice hip opener. I'm going to have you do, you're welcome to repeat using the cushions, or if you do have blocks at home, yoga blocks, or something that can kind of mirror Hi, Anna. a yoga block, you're welcome to use that. So what I'm going to have you do is also recline down, so you're welcome to keep the same blanket for your head, just move the one that was at the mid-upper back to the side. So you've got the blanket roll, just move that to the side, and I'm going to use the block. So you want to have two equal size, either blankets, cushions, or pillows. We're going to come all the way down. And you're bringing these. If you are using the blocks at the mid height, wide setting, under the knees, you can kind of see here. Blanket at the head. And I really love to do this pose, one hand on the belly. And just let your eyes close. We'll just be in this one also for a couple of moments. So make sure it's comfortable, no stress, no discomfort. It's really easeful. You know, we hold so much of our pain and our stress and our pelvis and our hips. It's said that the fear response lives deep down in the in the pelvis and particularly in the psoas muscle, which runs all along through its low back into the pelvis. So here, the invitation is to relax as much as you can into the ground, into the top, but also soften at the pelvis, the pelvic floor. And every time you exhale, I want you to just relax a tiny bit more. Let go of any need to hold your body in any particular way. Just feel the support of the ground, the cloth. Even though we're not doing this live together, just feeling the support. 
support and my voice, knowing that we are together, all of us here who are practicing, we are remembering that ease is essential, one of the things that we're learning right now. We're being forced to slow down in all of the ways. We're given this opportunity to reflect, to go inward, even if your life is chaotic, things have changed. It's an opportunity to pay attention to any containers and structures you're setting up for yourself, even one minute a day. What can you do every day that will remind you to come back into that softness with your breath and your body? It can be simple. about 20 more breaths, each exhale, just relaxing a little bit more. Staying in this shape and bringing this sweet sound Take a few more breaths. Always reminding ourselves that any time we connect in with breath, breathing slowly and relaxed, Are doing the practice and the practice is doing us. Breath literally is translated the breath practice as vitality. Slowly begin to open your eyes. We'll take your hand, no rush to your outer thigh, draw your knees in, bring your knees wide, hands to your shins, and just rock a little bit. You can even do one of my favorite poses, which if you've been in my classes, you know it, is upward facing child's pose. So you take your arms, your hands along the inner thighs. Let's do a few breaths, 
pressing elbows gently to inner thighs, getting a nice supportive hip opener, and low back release. And slowly draw your knees back. Move a prop if it's in your way, roll to the side, and press up. So go ahead and take a seat. You can sit on either a block or a pillow or a blanket. And we'll end class here. So if you have uh, essential oils, I recommend that after or here at the end. I'll talk about that in a second, but first let's go ahead, just like we started, eyes closed, seated, but now palm facing up. Connect, point your finger and thumb. Just acknowledge any differences in how you feel now versus when we began. Remember that the yoga practice is always here with us, first with our breath, always with our breath. Acknowledging all the benefits, seen and unseen, all the teachers that have come before, who have inspired us, all the teachers who will come after, as well as the teacher that's inside of each one of us. And the teacher to remind us to come back to this place, even if it's just three breaths. May we remember to practice and live our lives in a way that serves the highest and deepest good with harm to none. Take your hands to touch at your heart. Bow the head down towards the heart. May all beings out there know ease, joy, happiness. May all beings be free of suffering and harm. And may all beings everywhere in this lifetime know liberation and freedom itself. Ahead and lift your chin and drop your ear. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me. So if you've got any essential oils at home, I recommend, or anything that smells lovely, it's so good to awaken our senses right now. They do help to calm us down, awaking our senses in ways that are not about fight or flight. So I've got these two oils, Serenity and Balance from doTERRA that I love so much. Anything that you like, chamomile, lavender, and eucalyptus can be nice, peppermint can be energizing but relaxing. So just go ahead, rub them together, take a nice inhale. So nice, instantly soothing. And I prefer, I really love placing them. I'm gonna take off my socks here on the feet. So rub a little on the feet, so good. And um, stay tuned, I'm gonna be sharing practices more regularly, some classes will likely be coming to you live at some point in the next week or so. Um, and also, in addition to that, I will be starting to bring some offerings online much more regularly, actually. So this is an opportunity that I've been thinking about doing for a while now. I've got some videos out there, but I'm going to start to share videos on a much more regular um, basis with you all. So there will be opportunities to continue practicing with me me if you've got any questions and um, take care of yourselves out there everyone see you next time this is crystal higgins bye bye